October 3rd, storm clouds are gathering over the northern and southern borders of the United States. The National Guard and active duty forces are well aware of the CHICOM and Russian naval drills going on off the coasts of the United States, both coasts. 10 p.m. A signal is given to the 5th Column and to the Trojan Horse armies hidden throughout the United States. 12 a.m. October the 4th. A cyber attack, a paralyzing, devastating cyber attack, takes down the grid and telecom and internet services nationwide across the United States. 1 a.m. October 4th. All across the northern border with Canada and southern border, Chicom, Russian, Iranian, Venezuelan, even Pakistani forces and proxy groups rise up in numerous cities across the nation as Trojan horse shock armies begin to capture key buildings, key locations, and set up key strategic refueling points and logistical centers all across the nation as well as forward operating bases. 3 a.m. October 4th all along the border regular main invasion forces have been rolling south and now are all along major highways proceeding in various directions and seizing numerous swaths of territory virtually unopposed. Only now is the civilian population beginning to see that there's a major problem. In the center of the invasion are the 81st Group Army, the 71st Group Army, the 72nd Group Army, the 103rd Logistics Brigade, which is a Russian unit, the 38th Guards Motor Rifle Brigade, which is a Russian unit, the 107th Rocket Brigade, which is a Russian unit, and the 4th Tank Division, which is a Russian unit. Also, there is the 40th Group Army, whose AO, or Area of Responsibility, is the Missouri area. In Joplin, the elite Snow Leopard Spec Ops team rises up along with the 118th Light Mechanized Infantry Brigade. In St. Louis, the 40th Group Army.